In this tutorial, we'll look at doing dynamic progress bars in SharePoint Online. This template is available at SharePoint-Boards.com. This is a way for you to set up progress bars that will display according to a numeric value from 0 to 100 stored in a number field in SharePoint. And what you can also do is set boundary thresholds so that this bar will change color according to how large the value is. So what you see here in this example, we have boundary one set at 50% and then boundary two at 80%. And then I've set my colors um, according to those values. So a low value is going to be blue, a higher value is going to be orange, um, and the highest value is uh, lime green in this case. As with the other templates, you can uh, check out some of the different formatting options. And at that point, you can go ahead and get ready to copy your template. Again, this just needs a number field in SharePoint. I have a number field set up here in Measure 2. You see some other different kinds of progress bars that you can do, um, which are other options available in the site. So once I'm ready to go, I just need to select to copy the template and then I can move it over. You also have the option to decide whether you want to have uh, curved borders. And then another option is the inline edit. Um, if you can turn that off if you want, but if it's on, it allows the user to change this value directly from the view. So I'm going to copy this template and you just need to follow the directions in the pop-up window and then you can paste in your code. Okay, so there's my progress bars. Um, I need to drag the uh, column width out a little bit, just based on the width. Now, as I mentioned, in this case, um, I've got the inline edit mode turned on. So when I hover over the field, you can see that it's possible to change that. You can decide whether you want to allow that for your users or not. And you can also see as I described, according to this value, it's using different colors uh, for this. This could be useful in a situation where there's a critical value. For example, if it's under a certain percent or over a certain percent, you may want to draw attention to that, make it red, for example, that type of thing. And that's all there is to it. This is a uh, very flexible template. There's lots of things you can do. You can um, adjust the overall width of those bars. You can optionally uh, turn off the values if you maybe you just want to show that in a different column. And then you can, um, you know, do things like adjust the font size and, um, you know, things like that. So you can tweak it and get it set up according to, you know, the exact look and feel that you want. So be sure to play around with those configuration options. And this gives you a nice dynamic way to do progress bars in your list to give your users a nice visual indicator, um, uh, especially of percentage values. Good luck.